Hey guys, in this video, we have some companies where you can actually get paid really good money to work from home anytime, anywhere. So you're talking about companies that not only let you work from anywhere in the world, but they also let you make your own hours. That's what all of these companies have in common. So one company to check is Interaction Design. Interaction Design Foundation is a company where they have online UX design courses and things like that. And they have a few different jobs available right now. And the nice thing about them, one, if you go to their job section, so let's say you come to their website here and you go down to their job section. Well, you'll notice that they'll mention some benefits. They'll tell you that they're a 100% remote based company, which means every job you find here is remote. And then when you scroll down a little bit, they'll tell you a little bit about their benefits. Now, a lot of their benefits here, you, they don't look like traditional benefits. They, they mention a lot of things, but you don't see a lot of like, uh, you know, insurance, 401k, stuff like that. But what you do see is you get to work from anytime, anywhere. So work from home, a co-working space or anywhere else. Create your own work schedule. So that's one really nice thing about this company. So when they are hiring, that's why I like to mention them. They do have a couple of really nice jobs I think some people will be interested in right now. One is the community manager position. So what you would be doing with this job is basically the community, they say, is a big part of their efforts here. Obviously, that's a big part of any company. And they want you to assist in the implementation of digital outreach initiatives. And they want you to assume the role of a brand ambassador kind of represent the brand, reach out to communities and organizations to help them discover their free educational materials, act as, act as the voice, tone, and moderator of the brand through community support, content distribution, and digital engagement. So that's why I think a lot of with community management is moderating some sort of community, whether it's a Discord, whether it's social media, a forum, something like that. Engage actively with member base and online community. Support the team in maintaining a consistent and positive online presence. Learn and adapt to new digital tools and platforms. Assist in optimizing and perfecting every element of how they engage. You also optimize and maintain internal documentation and training materials and monitor and relay feedback on different conversations um, through the community to the team. So what they're looking for for this is someone with several years of experience successfully managing online communities. You have a keen interest in design, education, and digital communication. You are comfortable with using learning and optimizing various digital platforms and tools. You're fluent in written English. Notice how they put an extra emphasis on written English. So you shouldn't have to do this, you know, as something where you would have to be on the phone a lot or anything like that. I know a lot of people are trying to avoid phone jobs. You also have a keen eye for content. You know what ownership of a task means and how to deliver it. You are hungry for efficiency and constantly looking for ways to maximize results. You are organized and proactive. You excel in a fast paced and dynamic environment. You're a great communicator who values transparency and team collaboration. You are adept at swiftly and positively adapting to change with a strong commitment to continuous learning and you're self-motivated and self-reliant. Bonus points would be have experience working remotely, have experience using social media automation tools and have interest in online learning because that's what they do. So what they can offer here, you'll notice a lot of this stuff is it's great, but in terms of real like benefits, I don't see a lot mentioned here. A lot of this is like company culture, getting to work remotely and things like that. But another thing they have available is an admin and support specialist, which could be an even easier job to get right now. So this one, they do say a full-time remote long-term position accommodating time zones across Europe, Africa, South, Central, Western, Asia. Multiple spots are open for this role. I don't know if that means they want you to live there or if that means you're going to be um, doing support for those time zones and you don't necessarily have to live there. You just have to cover those time zones. So it could mean either one, but... Um, a lot of times these remote companies will tell you if they don't tell you like in the location of their job listings, they will basically tell you that you're going to be your hours are based on this, but that doesn't mean you necessarily have to live there. Um, so a strong communicator and troubleshooter is what they're kind of looking for here. And you will correspond daily with existing and prospective members across multiple channels, answering their questions and solve their problems. You'll act as an ambassador of the brand, maintain an excellent reputation, 
collaborate cross-functionally with various teams, perform general administrative and ad hoc projects and support extended team members as needed, maintain and improve documentation. You will help shape internal processes that directly impact engagement and improve KPIs. You will update internal knowledge base, the internal knowledge base and contribute to department initiatives around knowledge sharing. Communicate and collaborate effectively with other teams as needed and become a true embodiment of their values. About you, as far as actual requirements here, you thrive in a fast-paced environment with ad hoc projects of varying complexities. You are excited to help people and earn their gratitude. You are resourceful and autonomous when taking on new tasks and projects relying on problem-solving skills to make it all work. Attention to detail and thoroughness are second nature. You enjoy solving ad hoc problems. You have outstanding written communication, still, written communication skills and a strong desire to learn and help out where necessary. So one thing I wanted to point out here, I believe this company mostly does customer support via text-based. We're talking email and chat. One reason for that is because anytime I've ever seen a company talk about customer support and they mention a specifically a skill that has good written communication and they don't mention oral communication at all, that usually means it's either chat or email or both. So just keep that in mind. I know a lot of you are probably trying to avoid phone calls, and I also think this is not going to require a lot of phone calls. Even though they tell you that you're going to be, you know, solving problems in on you know different channels. They mention that here, multiple channels, answer their questions, solve problems. Just because they say that, that doesn't mean phone is one of them. So I believe that's why they mostly say they want you to have good written communication. But they also want you to know what ownership of a task means and how to deliver it. You crave consistency and are not easily distracted. You are comfortable with tight deadlines and a strong prioritization uh, skills are something that you have. You are resilient to setbacks and you are highly self-disciplined, which is obviously something that's a part of any remote job. Uh, what they can offer is going to be the same that we've already kind of been over. But as far as what it's like to work here, you're looking at a company that has a decent amount of reviews and you're looking at if you're if you're a community manager so they do have that job on here it looks like you could average somewhere around twenty nine dollars per hour now they don't have the specific like admin support job on here so if you're looking at the exact title admin admin and support specialist it's not a very common job title so you're gonna have to maybe compare a few different um, jobs and their averages to figure out maybe how much you might make. If you look at something like admin support, you're talking something around $54,000 a year. Now, if you're looking at their reviews, Interaction Design Foundation has a 3.9 out of five star rating and 73% would recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have a 3.7 out of five star rating out of four ratings. So not a huge sample size, but still pretty good. Interview wise, we're talking about 3.2 out of 5 difficulty, which is maybe slightly above average. And then experience would be 63% compared to 27%. I would say that's very good. Most companies are split pretty evenly between positive and negative. So a lot more people had a positive experience interviewing here. Next, we have a company called Remote. Remote.com is a place where they basically are a global HR platform that helps other companies build a remote workforce. So at remote.com, all their jobs are actually remote. They are also a truly global company. They don't have an office anywhere in the world. They offer a lot of flexibility and you can work when and where you want. They tell you that right up front before you even click on a job. You can plan your schedule around your life and not around meetings. So another thing, a lot of people might miss this part, but most of their jobs are globally remote. Job boards often require us to select a location. So the location you see under the job titles are for advertising purposes only. To check if a role has location or time zone restrictions, please check the practical section at the bottom of each advert. So they tell you right here, a lot of these locations that you see here, that's probably why you see so many duplicate listings of the same job title with all these different locations is because the job board they're using, which is Greenhouse in this case, they require them to have a location instead of just putting remote worldwide or something like that. So that seems to be what they're saying here. Maybe they use other job boards as well, but they're saying that location wise, they are a little more of a new school type of company where they just hire worldwide for these positions. 
and a lot of these locations should probably not deter you from applying. So they have a lot of different things available. As you can see, lots of engineering jobs, executive, finance, all sorts of different things. Obviously, I could go over all these different jobs, but it would take an extremely long time to do that. Now, I'm going to basically cover one that I think a lot more people could actually, uh, actually apply for and get. It's a lot more attainable for most people in terms of not as many qualifications required. Now, the, this is the Americas version. Again, this is a company that typically has these all over the world. They have a lot of listings with the same exact job title as this one all over the world. So you're not limited to just the Americas, even though I'm showing you the Americas as an example. But for this, what you would do, work fully remote. Again, they let you pick your own hours as well. But you can have the opportunity to be part of and drive the go-to-market team experience in a scale-up, fast-growing pre-IPO company and get training and exposure to the latest and most advanced prospecting tools. What you would bring is proven business development success through effective use of core sales tools, which could be HubSpot, LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, Chorus, etc. Several years experience working as an SDR in a B2B software as a service tech company. Able to negotiate skillfully, promote and sell ideas persuasively. Exceptional communication skills, both oral and written, coupled with excellent listening skills and a positive and energetic phone presence. Able to think strategically and tactfully as well. Able to maintain a positive attitude in the face of criticism, rejection, or failure. Promote a strong sense of urgency for reaching goals and key deliverables, self-starter, etc. Extremely self-motivated with a diligent work ethic. Demonstrated success in the below areas listed and key responsibilities. Writes and speaks fluent English and is not required to have experience working remotely, but it is considered a plus. So if you've ever worked remotely, make sure to let them know. Key responsibilities here, sourcing new sales prospects and reaching out to them to book appointments for account executives. So as a sales rep, typically you book appointments, you're kind of like the the first one in line for sales and then the account executives typically close. But you would be sourcing new sales prospects and reaching out to them again to book appointments, provide feedback to the marketing team regarding quality of market source leads. So you're telling them how good these leads actually are and if they're converting. Clearly communicating remotes value propositions to prospects and learning from their needs to see if there's a good fit. You also provide support to account executive teams as needed be responsible for educating and developing prospects waiting to hand off to sales team, create target prospects lists and penetrate key accounts. You also cold call into prospects generated by a variety of outside sources and identify key players, researching and obtaining business requirements and presenting solutions to begin the sales cycle. So you'll report to you know the manager of outbound sales development and then they want you to start as soon as possible. But for this, they say that you could earn up to around $78,450 a year in on-target earnings. That's what OTE means. So if it says on-target earnings, that means that's a combination of your base pay plus commission. So as essentially, this number can vary. That's why it's kind of a wide range because a lot of this is commission-based, even though you should have a base pay. I'm guessing the base pay is somewhere around this number right here and then you have your commissions on top of that. Benefits, they do have some solid benefits at this company as well. With all the jobs you find here, you typically get to work from anywhere. Again, set your own hours, unlimited personal time off, minimum of four weeks, quarter, quarterly company-wide day off for self-care, flexible working hours we've already mentioned, 16 weeks paid parental leave, mental health support services, stock options, learning budget, home office budget, and IT equipment, budget for local in-person social events or co-working spaces as well. As far as what it's like to work here, Remote has a 3.8 out of 5 star rating. 63% of people recommend working here to a friend. As far as the benefits here, the benefits are rated pretty well at 3.8 out of 5 stars out of 29 ratings. Interview wise, you're looking at 2.7 out of 5 difficulty. So you're talking maybe slightly below diff average in terms of difficulty and experience would be 53% positive compared to 37% negative. And then of course, we've already been over the pay for one of the jobs, but again, they have a bunch of different jobs available. So don't feel like you're just limited to that sales job that I showed you. You have 
I mean, dozens and dozens of options here. And another company that lets you set your own schedule in some cases, depending on the job, while also working from home worldwide is stickermule.com. This is a company that does stickers, labels, custom packaging, custom t-shirts, and all of that. So if you're looking to get a job here, they do have one remote job available right now that gives you kind of like maximum flexibility. And it's a worldwide job at a company called, it's a worldwide job that is, you know, they tell you they're globally distributed and they have this software team. The specific team you're working on is in 17 different countries. And this job is going to require you to know a few things like Docker, Kubernetes, GCP, AWS, Go, Postgres, Redis, familiarity with JavaScript, experience, excellent communication skills in English, degree in computer science or equivalent practical experience. So you don't necessarily have to have a degree. Just when you see degree, that doesn't mean you have to have that if you do have the practical experience. But build CI and CD pipelines is one thing you'll do. You'll also, you'll also optimize and scale workloads and secure containers and web services. This is the highest paying job on the list so far. Of course, remote. I didn't go over all the jobs at the other companies, but um, this one, they tell you right up front, 135,000 a year based on experience, $20,000 signing bonus is kind of unique here. You don't see a lot of companies do signing bonuses, but this company does one for pretty much every remote job I've seen here. Now, if you do something like customer support, it's more like $500 up front, but it's still, still nice to get a little bit of an upfront signing bonus. Um, you know, especially if you've been out of a job for a little while and you finally get hired here. Four weeks vacation and holidays based on your country of residence. That's another nice thing I like to point out is they do holidays based on the country you live in and not based on like the headquarters of the company. Now, if you go to their careers section here, uh, again, mainly one thing you need to do is narrow it down to remote. They're not a remote only company. They do have other jobs in person. Another thing, their benefits are listed here as well. They have above market compensation. They have signing bonuses, as I said, for every job here. They have the ability to work where you want. You can work and live where you want. I think you could even travel while you work for some jobs. Flexible hours. You can choose a work schedule that makes sense for you. Now, sometimes if you're doing like customer support, sometimes they want you to work a specific nine to five based on the time zone or something like that that you're doing support for. But, you know, that's just one of those things. Health and dental insurance is another thing you get here. Hardware and software. You get a standing desk and a freedom chair as well. So you're talking about a company that kind of takes pretty good care of you according to their benefits and according to pay. As far as 3.8 out of 5 stars, 78% recommend working here to a friend. That's pretty good for reviews overall. Benefit-wise, they have a 5 out of 5 star rating at 12 ratings, which is also pretty good. Interview-wise, they have a 2.2 out of 5 difficulty rating, which is pretty easy, actually. And that's out of 68 ratings. It's surprising how, how easy it is to apparently apply here. And the experience here is the only thing that doesn't look great. But if you look at the number of like how happy people are working here, if you look at how people like the benefits and how easy it is to get a job here, it seems pretty good. Now, there are some that's had a negative experience interviewing here, and you can read through those specific reviews if you want. But I would say overall, I, it wouldn't stop me from recommending the company. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If you thought this was a helpful video, please click the like button. It tells me kind of what videos you actually want the most of. And also, if you want to ask me a question or let me know what you would like me to cover in the future, shoot me a comment on YouTube and I will try to at least read it and make something for you and try to respond to some of those as well. And then other than that, I'll see you in the next video.